Hey everyone, this is a follow-up to my video when good gradients go bad, and we'll dive even deeper into the issues with gradient correction. Welcome to SETI Astro. What I wanted to test first was the stability. PixInsight said that uh, their new gradient correction was very stable, and the old gradient correction means like DBE could vastly change just with the placement of a single point. So what I'm going to do is take the original image, run both Graxpert and Gradient Correction on it in the full size, and then I'm also going to take a crop of it, rerun the same settings, both Gradient Correction and Graxpert, pull out the gradients that it corrected, and then compare them. It should be an interesting test here. So here is the original. I use the same settings as my previous video to get the gradient correction done. And it's just default settings for Graxpert. Looking at them, Graxpert definitely shows more of that integrated flux nebula. I had a couple comments mentioned that I didn't mention the IFN. Uh, and I know it is in this image, and Graxpert definitely shows that it is in the background a lot better than the extra flat gradient correction tool. I then used pixel math to do the original minus the correct it, and then I added a 0.5 so there wasn't any black clipping, and just did an STF. Here is the Graxpert gradient that was removed. Now Graxpert does have the option to show the gradient as well. You can see it's nice and smooth. It had the dark bottom. It had the overcorrection of the flat in the middle and those brighter portions up at the top. Now let's look at what gradient correction pulled out. Here's what gradient correction pulled out. Quite different because I needed the smoothness scale so low to give it a flat field. It actually started pulling out some of the galaxies you can see there and even some of the integrated flux nebula as this blotchiness throughout. My next test was then to run gradient correction on the full image and a cropped portion of the image to test uh, PixInsight's claim that it's stable, that uh, you know placing points differently would change original results. Well, cropping in closer really shouldn't change these results either if it is truly a stable gradient correction and overlying them there is a change at least you can see visibly in the galaxy itself there is more correction done in the cropped version and this is the same settings i used for both ingredient correction you could do the same for graxpert here was the full image and here was the cropped with the gradient removed. Again, just uh, default settings in Graxpert for that one. And lining them up, it looks, it looks identical to my eye. Uh, so Graxpert is doing a lot better job at being stable. But we can go even further than this. We could look at the gradients of the crops themselves. Here is gradient corrections, gradient that it removed. Again, it's uh, removing parts of the galaxy and the integrated flux. And we can look at the uh, Graxpert's gradient crop. Again, it's uh, nice and smooth. It looks very similar to the, to the whole. And we can compare them just visually Here was gradient corrections, full one. And visually to the other one, it does look like there may be some differences, but we could be even more methodical than that. We could actually crop the original gradient image to the same size and then uh, use pixel math to find the difference completely. Let's look at Graxpert first. 
when you do the Graxpert one, here's the difference. There are some very large scale uh, overall differences, but these pixel values are extremely low, 0 0.0001 pretty much across the entire thing. So STF had to stretch almost completely and uh, it's almost completely smooth between the two different versions, both Graxpert applied to the full image and the cropped image. That shows that Graxpert was very stable in its algorithm. Now let's look at grading correction. <laughs> this is the difference between the two gradients that grading correction did on the full version versus the cropped version. I don't know what all this swirly mess is, but there is definitely some form of, don't want to call it AI, but some form of algorithm going on in the background that made a huge difference between running the same settings, grading correction on the full image and the cropped image. So this is just driving the point home to me that until we have a better product than grading correction, I would avoid it if it doesn't give you the correct gradient removal with its default settings. Because once you have to start applying a lot of changes to those sliders to get a flat field, it's going to start pulling out items you don't want it to pull out. I would stick with DBE if you're comfortable with DBE or Graxpert for the time being. And Graxpert even, I know, on large nebulosity will pull out some of the nebula as well. So even with Graxpert, we have to be careful as to what is getting correct it. But for right now, until there is a better tool, in my mind, I would hold off on using grading correction unless just that single click gets it home for you. I hope you like this follow-up. Please comment, like, and subscribe.